Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to do another video um, where I complain. And I know those are probably everybody's favorite. Um, but I would like to complain, again, about some things that I do not like currently that have been happening. And one thing in particular that I have noticed that happened specifically this weekend that is a really bad sign and it's just really, number one, it's disrespectful to collector level again, which um, 2K just continues to disrespect collector level, by the way. But, uh, and I'll talk about what that is in this video, but just in general, what I'm seeing and what I'm expecting to see in season seven, just some of my thoughts. I'll probably make a more detailed video on season seven specifically and my thoughts and expectations for season seven here later this week, but it's not exactly the focus of this video, although I'll touch on it. Um, before we do hop into this video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. We're getting pretty close to 25K, to be honest. We're not that far away. Uh, I would love to hit it within the next, like, I don't know, two weeks. I think that's pretty reasonable. Uh, we're less than uh, 700 subscribers away, so definitely making progress. Um, and yeah, would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, though, the thing that I really want to talk about first and foremost in this video is the way that they, number one, did collector level dirty with the uh, 100 overalls that are available in that collector level option pack, but also how they're now tweaking 100 overalls since then. So the collector level option pack reward is a choice of two 100 overalls, and the choice that you have is between the first 10, which are LeBron, T-Mac, Luka, Giannis, Magic, MJ, Dirk, KG, Kareem, Shaq. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say those are bad cards, and especially guys like LeBron and Giannis and even a couple of the other ones are still very, very good cards. At the same time, the last three, which they have not updated the pack to include and show no inclination to update the pack to include or to make accessible, um, are Kevin Durant, a six foot ten shooting guard. So a very, very glitchy card size wise. Um, who is really, really incredible in a lot of ways, although he does still have his own release base. But he is a really... <coughs> excuse me. He is a really glitchy, really, really good card in my team for sure. And then he is the like least annoying of the three that, that isn't available. The first one to come out that was not available in the option pack was Yao Ming. It is 100% intentional that they made the first 10 choosable and not Yao Ming because Yao is seven foot six. Everybody would love to get Yao for collector level, but no, 2K is not gonna give people a card like that for collector level. This is now two years in a row in all honesty that 2K has completely screwed up collector level, which last year I don't think people made in all honesty, as big of a fuss as they probably realistically should have about all the collector level issues that happened last year. And the fact that they, number one, didn't announce the collector level reward until I think it was probably in July. And number two, it was a end game Richard Lewis, which number one, who cares about Richard? I'm like, okay, that's really rude. No offense to Richard Lewis, but like Richard Lewis is not the type of name in 2K that is incredibly exciting as an end game reward. But number two, it was a legit exact reskin of the end game Kevin Durant that had been out for like two months at that point. So the card that they made available as the collector level reward was legitimately just an exact reskin, a different player model, but same height, same animation, same everything of a card that had been out for months. And that was the collector level reward. Like that is so lame. And at least this year they made collector level come out earlier, but they promised a Kobe card as the collector level card. Did not drop that, lied about that, and we have obviously touched on and complained about that a good amount on this channel, as I know a lot of other creators have as well, and for good reason, because it's unacceptable. But not only that, now they just continue to drop... I mean, today they drop, or as I'm recording this today, tomorrow, yesterday, as y'all are seeing this video, um, but they dropped this Tim Duncan card that has Patty Mills base. We now have a six foot eleven power forward with Patty Mills base on very quick. Now they're dropping the truly insane, truly gassed up hundred overalls. They're making, uh, and, and, and my guess is, in all honesty, this isn't going to stop because. Do we realistically think we got Patty Mills based Tim Duncan this week, right? So let's assume what's another NBA legend that hasn't gotten a hundred overall card yet that's likely going to get one in the near future. I, I I really don't know. Let's just say we get a Jokic. Why not? He just won MVP. Let's say we get Jokic as the hundred overall reward next weekend. Um, Y'all are telling me Jokic isn't going to get Patty Mills base or something else that's really really good if not patty mills base but even if it isn't patty mills base it'll be something amazing even if it's not quite as good as patty mills um like 
they're now going to change from now on 100 overall animations to be some of the very best, most glitched animations in the game. And I think it's really, again, super disrespectful that they do that after making the 100 overalls available for collector level. And again, it is totally intentional. The people out there who try to play devil's advocate and give 2K the benefit of the doubt realistically need to stop doing so because it has been too much of this for us to give them the benefit of the doubt about really anything. And again, it's just so frustrating and so garbage and I haven't really complained in a while so I felt like making a video on here complaining about this because I think it sucks um, and unfortunately the issue is uh, this is going to continue happening because I mean who's to stop them now from 100 overall Victor Wimbyama with a glitch release and pack only and like all of that stuff not who's going to not who's to stop them that's coming all of these cards are coming and they are almost all going to be gate kept behind gambling only unless and this is the one thing i will touch on to finish out this video in the last couple of minutes i have noticed one thing and i'm going to point this out and i saw this pointed out on twitter yesterday by my boy jacob um as well as dvg they were talking about this um but this is the most dead that i have ever seen 2k during a friday content drop especially at this point in the year like it is insanely dead right now on social media and stuff and in terms of 2k hype in the community um that is something that eventually I think is representative of something that will touch 2K's pockets. People aren't playing. People aren't spending money. It's starting to reach that point. And I think that is where we might see 2K come out with some BS where they actually do potentially make change. Now, do I think this is particularly likely? Not really. I kind of think this gambling only stuff is here to stay for the rest of the year. Now, do I think it will return in, 20, in 2K25? That is a conversation for a different video. And in all honesty, really. Realistically, if I had to guess right now today, my answer might actually be leaning towards no. But I do not think that is something that will likely change this year. I feel like it's pretty likely at this point that we're going to continue to get gambling on the content for the rest of 2K24. And at this point, that is what? Only the rest of May, another half a month, and then June, July, and then I guess August isn't really even a real content month. So it's only about another two and a half months of content this year. Um, so honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there's not a ton of change. I'm sure there'll be a bunch of good free content in Season 7, as there should be and as there was in Season 6, and I'm sure it will get even better. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see daily free content in Season 7, stuff like free Dark Matters every day and stuff to suck people into the mode uh, and try to suck people in for 2K25. Um, but it's going to be really interesting to me, to be honest, to watch and see what happens over the next couple months. And um, I just wanted to touch on again this, because this frustrates me, man. And I mean... It's, it's sad because there is actual good and there are things that can be positively praised, but then they're just drowned out by so much garbage. And this whole collector level fiasco has been a perfect example of all of the garbage that has just ruined 2K for so many people and specifically my team for so many people over the past couple of years because... Man, I miss 2K21, 2K22. The community was in such a good place, and the game was much better than it is now. Even if it still had its flaws, it was in a much better spot. And that's It's unfortunate, but it, it is what it is, and hopefully things change in the future. We'll see. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.